Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today. I'm Alice, I'm Paris and I'm from Paris and welcome. I'm so glad to see you today for another vintage review video. We're gonna talk about perfume today. And if you like this video, if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe, it gives me a lot of motivation. And before starting this video, as you can see, the decor is slightly different than usual because yes, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back in Paris. I'm so, so happy to be in Paris, to be honest with you. Uh, I was stuck in the US because of the COVID. I wasn't able to go back, um, you know, as usual. And uh, it's been a very, very long trip. So this is my Parisian home, my Parisian decor. Um, this is a very special video, by the way, because I started this channel uh, in Boston. You know, I was a little bit alone, away from all my friends and my family. So I decided to start this channel. Uh, you know, I was also heartbroken. Uh, I decided to start it, to start this channel, you know, back then in Boston, and uh, now this is my first video uh, in Paris. So it's a little bit emotional, to be honest with you. It's a special video. So yes, the decor is different because this is my Parisian home. Uh, I hope I can I can give you a room tour, an apartment tour, to see how uh, you know how Parisian woman how we uh, decorate, how I decorate my apartment. I love to put fresh flowers, for example. So I'm back in Paris. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I'm, you know, a few people have asked, uh, when are you coming back in YouTube? So I had, uh, I needed time to adjust, to be honest with you, a little bit. But I'm back and today we are going to talk about perfume. Um, because, you know, I'm, a, you know, I'm... A, I'm a huge fan. I'm addicted to perfume. I need perfume. I don't go out without uh, perfume. I never forget perfume. And today we are going to talk about vintage perfume. Um, this is a true discovery to be honest with you because this one, um, I never heard about it, about this one. I don't know people around me who wear this one. So it's a really, really a uh, new, new discovery uh, and it's a very 90s uh, perfume by the way and you know how much I love 90s and 80s so let's start uh, this first video in Paris together so let's start with this beautiful, beautiful perfume and also I am going to show you uh, the really the vintage version. So I'm going to compare the modern uh, v, uh, against the vintage uh, version. Why? Because this perfume, uh, and I check online, it seems that this perfume has been reformulated since it has been launched uh, since, uh, you know, 1992. So I was super interested to really check, you know, the vintage version, how the vintage version developed compared to the new uh, modern version, to be honest. And someone, you know, a friend of mine just asked me, okay, why are you going, uh, why are you going to check the vintage version? Why are you into vintage perfume? It's a simple question because most of the time, you know, uh, and it really depends on the age of the perfume and when the perfume has been launched. But the more, uh, the older the perfume has been launched, most of the time they change the formulation. So I like to go back to the original version. And especially for 80s, 90s perfume, because 80s, 90s perfume, they have really a lot of personality. They're super intense perfume. Uh, they're really beautiful perfume for me, uh, you know, uh, you know how, <laughs> how much I love 80s and 90s. I really love fashion, um, fashion in the 80s, 90s, but perfume for me, they are the best most of the time. They're really like, they're super well construed, well blend. So for me, the best perfume are the perfume from the 90s and 80s. So I was super interested also to get to go back to the vintage version and I uh, buy, I was really uh, lucky to find a vintage version on eBay. So this is the vintage version of Cashmere uh, by Chopin. So as you can see, uh, the color of, um, of the perfume is a little bit amber. So it's a very interesting, uh, very interesting color. 
So um, first I'm gonna present to you the perfume, the brand, um, and after we're gonna try it together, we're gonna smell it. I really love this perfume, to be honest with you. I already wear this perfume at several occasions since I was back to Paris to really um, uh, wear this perfume. I like this one. It's a very unique and elegant uh, fragrance, to be honest. I never heard about this one before. I never smell this one on someone, to be honest with you. So it's even more interesting because I really like raw perfume. I really like unique perfume. I don't like to wear perfume like, you know, my neighbor uh, is uh, wearing the same perfume as me. I like really niche, niche uh, and vintage perfume. So it's even more interesting um, to me to show you this one. And it's a very beautiful, beautiful uh, perfume. So first, the bottle is super interesting. So this is a very oriental uh, perfume. So. We are more into, I'm gonna say, the French Oriental perfume family, meaning that they are not too heavy, they are not too loud, they're not vulgar, they're very, very elegant Oriental perfume, very chic, very Parisian. Um, so the bottle reminds me, you know, of this type of, um, you know, castle in India, um, you know, Les Mille et une Nuit, by the way, um, Indian Night, for example, but Temple, like, it's a very, very oriental, I'm gonna say Indian inspiration. In the name Kashmir, I check online, it seems like Kashmir uh, as an inspiration from Himalaya, from Kashmir, you know. So it's a very oriental, uh, very oriental inspiration. Um, and it reminds me of the Indian night of uh, Scherer. Not, not the smell, not at all, not the fragrance at all. But you know, this type of inspiration, most of the time, a lot of our French Oriental perfume, they get the inspiration from uh, Indian. India, an Indian perfume, and it was really trendy at that time, back in the 90s and the 80s. Um, so Yves Saint Laurent at that time, you know, he used, he get his, his inspiration from China. So for him, like Oriental was more, was more into the China, uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese culture, Chinese area. But, you know, classic, I'm gonna say a classic fresh Oriental. Uh, getting its inspiration from India. So it's a very interesting uh, oriental. So I don't know a lot of perfume from Chopard. Uh, this is my first Chopard perfume, but I love perfume from the big uh, jeweler, like Cartier, like Bouchon. Um, I love also Van Cleef and Apple perfume. I love perfume from uh, the big French uh, jeweler, just because uh, most of the time they're not super expensive first, but they're also very elegant, very refined. I find this perfume also with a lot of personality. Then are not, there's not a lot of people who also wear this perfume. There's a lot of confidentiality around this perfume. So maybe because of that, people, you know, they don't, uh, they don't usually get to the big jeweler like Cartier, Van Cleef or Boucheron. They tend to go, you know, to the, uh, I don't know, to the normal, I'm gonna say like a normal uh, perfume house. But it's a shame and uh, you should really check. Uh, because you know, you know how much I love Boucheron perfume. By the way, I love Boucheron. Uh, Van Cleef also, they also in my, uh, you know, in my uh, French uh, cabinet. Uh, maybe one day I will show you my in my little cabinet in my bed my bedroom. I have a lot of Van Cleef and Arpel perfume. Uh, but Chopard, this is my first one, and it's super interesting because this one it's not super expensive, but I find this one super super well construct, well blend. Uh, the sillage is very, very long, very strong. On my skin, you know, even after I, I washed my hands, the sillage was still here. I, I could still smell the perfume and it's a very, uh, it's a good indication. I mean, for me, it's a good sign that the perfume is really uh, good quality, there's good ingredients. Um, and this one, it's a super, super interesting oriental. It remind me, uh, you know, um, with some notes remind me of Champagne by Yves Saint Laurent, even it's very, very different. Uh, we are more into a sweet, spicy oriental with this one, but some notes, like the peach notes, remind me of Champagne, and it has a very, very unique personality, you know? The first time when I uh, smelled Champagne by Yves Saint Laurent, 
uh, I was like, I was like, oh my god, this perfume is so unique. I never smelled something like that before. Um, I used to wear champagne when I was a student in Paris. Uh, it's still my one of my favorite perfumes, by the way. But this one also has a lot, a lot of strong personality. And it's a very, very beautiful uh, summer night oriental perfume. Uh, so let's let's start with the modern version. So this perfume has been launched in the 90s, okay? Uh, this is a 92 per, uh, perfume. So like all the 90s perfume, you know, they have very strong personality, very strong sillage. Um, this type of perfume, it's like, it's either you love this perfume or you just don't like or you hate this perfume, okay? Uh, some perfume from Montana, for example, I love Claude Montana, um, uh, you know, I love Claude Montana jacket, uh, couture, I love Claude Montana. I also love Claude Montana perfume, but some of this perfume also, you know, it's either you love it or you hate it. It's the same with this one, but I really like this one. It's a big, big, sweet uh, perfume. Uh, there is not, not a lot of floral notes, uh, but there's more spices and uh, fruity notes. It's a very, very, um, I'm gonna say it's a very elegant, sugary uh, perfume. And it's rare because some of, some of the very sugary perfume, like Candy uh, by Prada, for example, I don't like this one at all. I find this one super loud, uh, there's too much sugar in it. This is not a perfume I can wear. But this one, it's a very soft, light, elegant, sugary perfume, sweet perfume. Uh, and it's very hard to get that type of elegance, to be honest, because most of the time, sweet or sugary perfume, they're super, super loud, and they tend to get too much sweetness, so it's either like, oh my God, you're like, oh my gosh, too much sweet, too much, is like when you eat too much chocolate, uh, chocolate, you tend to get like, oh, mm. So this is the same things with sugary, sweet uh, perfume, but this one has the perfect line, the perfect balance, but this one has the perfect balance, the perfect line, the perfect, you know, everything is well blend, then you, you're not disgust, okay? You don't have the nausea, you don't have some kind of nausea, oh my God, too much sweetness. There's some perfume are like that, especially some of the, some from Prada or, you know, Italian perfume for me, they are like too much sweet and it's, it's a little bit too much, you know, it's, uh, at, at some point you're like, oh my God, this is too much. This one is super, super elegant and that's why also I love, you know, perfume from French uh, jewels. It's super, super elegant, super refined. Um, so let's start to spray this one. So I spray this one during the day in Paris, uh, even when it's warm. I'm not disgusted uh, by this one. It's a perfect summer, I'm gonna say summer um, perfume. I also like this one also during the night. If I have a cocktail, if I have an event um, in Paris, I wear this one very easily. Um, and I got a lot of compliments, by the way, um, about this one. And most of the time it was from uh, men, by the way, who really tell me, oh, what's your perfume? It's, I like this one. So let's, uh, let's spray, maybe, let's spray, yeah, on my end. So like I said, most of the time, don't spray, if you try a perfume, don't spray perfume on a paper or on a clothes. You should spray the perfume on the skin, okay? Perfume they are made to be applied on the skin, to spray on the skin. It's the best way to try a perfume, to really see if the perfume is made for you, how it's going to develop. Um, mm, oh my gosh, I love this one. This is the most elegant, sweet, uh, sugary perfume I ever smell, okay? Um, and this is my first Chopin perfume. I love Chopin, okay? Chopin is a very um, beautiful Swiss, by the way, Swiss brand. Um, I love the watch, I love the ring, um, but this is my first Chopin perfume and I really like this one. Um, and like I said, it's very, very difficult to get a sweet perfume with not too much, too loud, too heavy, when you're not, you, you get easily the nausea, okay? You're like, oh my God, can you... 
it's too much. Some women, they like this type of perfume, but it's really too much. It's very difficult to, to get this um, elegant line, to be honest. And this one, mm, I really like this one. This one is, is like a, um, a picture, a big, big, uh, big, sweet, pink, sweet, uh, un, un, un gros bonbon, you know, a big, big, sweet, um, Mm, and there's some spices blend like some type of chinamon. I can smell the chinamon china after that. Mm, I'm gonna respray and I'm gonna describe the different notes. Um, but you know, on my skin, it's super super interesting because it's sweet, but I have the blend of spices. And like I said, this perfume, there's very very few floral notes. We are more into, um, I'm going to say, traditional vanilla on the oriental with a lot of spices in the, in the back, but uh, especially in the base notes, but it's super, super elegant. I really like this one. And what I like about Casimir by Chopard, it's a very unique perfume. I never, um, you know, ever um, see this perfume on someone yet, okay? I discovered this perfume randomly in, in Miami. I was looking for another oriental because I used to wear a lot of oriental perfume in Miami. Um, you know, Miami is a tropical city. It's very warm, very, very hot. So I was more into oriental uh, than usual, I'm gonna say. I was only also looking for something with oud, tuberos, you know. It's a, you, you know, you wear perfume depending of where you live and it's different. I'm not going to wear the same perfume in Paris, to be honest, because the temperature, the weather is different and the lifestyle also is completely different. Um, you know, we are a little bit more elegant in Paris. Um, we wear clothes differently. But um, yeah, in Miami, I was really looking for something oriental and a, a sweet perfume. Oh, I love this one. This is a very, very big, big, um, big sweet perfume. Oh my God, this is very elegant, very refined. I really like this one. So the first note, we are more into a fruity, uh, fruity note, fruity fragrance. So there's a lot of peach, abricot, coconut, raspberry. I smell really uh, uh, a lot the raspberry and the coconut. There's also mango. So it's a lot of exotic, exotic fruits. Um, there's a little bit of black, uh, black paper, black currants, and also uh, bergamot. So the blend is super, super interesting. I really like this one. And the, the middle notes are more into the spices. So it's super interesting. And I smell, uh, I smell the chinamon, the carnation, the orange, um, the, uh, a little bit of lily of the valley. You know how much I love lily of the valley. Um, I have still, um, I'm going to make a video about this one. I still have a bottle of uh, Van Cleef & Arpel uh, Muguet, called Muguet, so Lily of the Valley. It's the last bottle I was able to find. This perfume is completely discontinued, so I don't think you can uh, find this one. Uh, so I saved my bottle, to be honest, but this is the best Lily of the Valley, like pure Lily of the Valley. I love Lily of the Valley, you know. Um, the day of my wedding, if I get, um, if I got, you know, married one day, um, I'm gonna wear Lily of the Valley. I'm gonna wear a perfume with Lily of the Valley, but I found it so beautiful. It's so feminine, so refined, so elegant. Um, so there's a little bit of Lily of the Valley. That's why I love this perfume, and I smell it, but probably more in the middle, um, in the middle notes. A little bit also in the base, and the base. I'm gonna say we are more into a traditional, uh, traditional um, oriental perfume with a lot of amber, a lot of vanilla, uh, tonka bean, opoponax, amber, uh, sandalwood, musk. There's also a little bit of patchouli, which gives a lot of intensity to the perfume. And yes, on my skin, you know the base on my skin. Mm. Mm, oh my gosh, on my skin it's incredible, it's incredible, the base on my skin, it's a blend of, um, of raspberry, mango, coconut, uh, chinamon, lily of the valley, 
Vanilla, okay, this is incredible on my skin how this perfume developed. It's very interesting and incredible. And the sillage is strong, okay, it's strong. So my advice will be to be uh, light on the spray, okay. Um, but it's an incredible perfume, you know, summer perfume uh, and very, very unique, very distinctive. Mm. Oh my god, I love Casimir. I love Casimir by Chopard. This is a very, very good discovery. This is my first Chopard perfume and I'm glad I came to, I came to this perfume, to be honest. It's a very, very good uh, perfume, so I really recommend this one. If you're looking for a beautiful summer uh, sugary sweet perfume, this one, uh, this one is definitely for you. Um, and yeah, day or night, uh, this is a very good perfume, a very well blend, very well construct. So you can wear this one easily day or night, to be honest. Um, and uh, you know, on a linen, a very elegant long dress. Um, if you love sugary, sweet perfume, but elegant, not loud and not heavy, this one is definitely for you. Okay, so now I want to try the vintage version because this perfume has been reformulated for sure. Uh, I'm pretty much sure about it because I check with uh, Chopard, I check online, so some ingredients has been reformulated compared to the original version. And because it's a 90s perfume, I'm very interested to know how the perfume really age. Um, so I'm gonna check, I'm gonna try with you this vintage version. You see how beautiful it is, the color of this perfume is beautiful. And also, uh, my advice is vintage perfumes are more intense. Usually they're more intense compared to the modern perfume. Why? Because the perfume, you know, age differently. The alcohol also, you know, has been, you know, it, they can't in some way that you got directly the base notes. You don't have the top or the middle notes. It's very rare to get the top or the middle notes in a vintage perfume. But usually you got directly the base notes. So that's why a vintage perfume is more intense than a modern one. And it's very interesting to uh, compare. So on my right, um, on my left, sorry, my left end, I put, um, I put the modern version. And on my right land, I'm gonna put the vintage, uh, vintage version. So we're gonna compare together and we're gonna see um, which one, you know, the difference, the difference notes and which one is better on my skin. Mm, yeah, very interesting. So for sure, this perfume has been reformulated. I can tell you that for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so the vintage version is definitely more intense. The base notes are a little bit different. And um, the sillage is even stronger with the vintage version. And definitely on my skin, it's completely different. Mm, I prefer the vintage version. I already prefer the vintage version. I'm gonna tell you why. Because the notes are very intense, but we have less a sweet and sugary notes. Um, the lily of the valley, for example, is more present. Um, it's definitely more present. There's less coconut, so probably in this vintage version, uh, there's no coconut. Um, no coconut. Uh, the chinaman, I smell more the orange, the geranium of the chinaman. Uh, I smell the musk, the musk, okay, all the base nuts, uh, the musk, the amber, the vanilla are more present with less coconut, so the top nuts are not really here. And the lily of the valley is more present. So that's why the vintage version is definitely more intense. On this one, it's a little bit more chemical. There's something more chemical on the modern version, while the vintage version, it's less chemicals less synthetic, I got more the amber, the patchouli, I'm more, I have more intense notes, so it's less synthetic, less chemical, more intense, uh, dark intense um, oriental notes. 
So that's why I already prefer the vintage version, to be honest. And I can tell that on my skin, the vintage version is even more uh, present. Because in my, uh, in the modern version, there's still the coconut, uh, you know, a coconut is a little bit too synthetic for me. In this one, uh, we have all this blend of raspberry, mango, um, cinnamon, orange, bergamot, with benzon, patchouli, vanilla is more present because, like I said, in the vintage perfume, the base nuts are very much more uh, present. So my advice, uh, to be honest with you, if you love this perfume, because this perfume is not super expensive, I got this perfume for around 30, uh, 30 dollars, so as you can see, it's not expensive at all. Uh, the vintage version might be a little bit more expensive, you know, because um, it's uh, still a rare perfume, niche perfume, it's still rare to find perfume for the 90s, but my advice, if you really like this perfume, Let's say you purchase the modern version and you find it very nice. Go for the vintage one. This is my advice. You're going to find vintage, some vintage version on eBay or Etsy. Um, go for the vintage version because the vintage version is very nice. And I find more character, a lot of less chemical, synthetic notes. For example, the coconut, it's a little bit too chemical for me. The more intense in the vanilla, benzoin, musk, amber. Um, still with sweet, still with sweet and sugary notes, but the base and, you know, all these vanilla notes are really more present. It gives more intensity to the perfume. So that's why I love the vintage version. I love the vintage version. I think I'm gonna buy a big, um, a big bottle of the vintage version because I find this perfume very, very um, unique, very distinctive. Um, so it's super interesting. And it's a perfume also you can uh, you wear uh, in a day you're not really uh, you know you you're not you know you had a bad day you're not really happy. This kind of perfume, you know, it's a gourmand perfume, okay? Uh, this perfume tends to open your, your appetites, open your taste. Um, it's a sweet, it's sweetness, you know, sweet into, in a bottle, actually. It's like you have sweet in a bottle, but a very, very good sweet, okay? Not, you know, not cheap. It's not a cheap sweet. It's not, <laughs> it's not a chemical sweet. Um, but I find the sweet from the vintage version more, um, more intense, more deeper, a little bit darker, and I like that. Um, so I recommend personally to go to the vintage version, but this is a very, very beautiful, uh, very beautiful perfume. So that's it for today. This, this was my first video um, since I moved uh, back to Paris. Um, I was so happy to make this video, uh, you know, it's a very special, a special video for me, like I said. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love this video. Don't forget also to leave a comment if you know this perfume, uh, maybe if your mother, I don't know, your grandmother uh, wear this perfume, if you want to discover this perfume. Um, my next video, I was supposed also to record this video in Miami, but I didn't have time. Uh, is about Cartier perfume because I recently developed an obsession, uh, an obsession about uh, Cartier perfume. I love Cartier perfume and I made very, very interesting discovery, very beautiful perfume. Uh, probably some of them will going to be my next, my next perfume. So I was so happy uh, to, uh, to, to see you today to record this video in Paris. Uh, so I wish you a very, very good day and see you next week for another video. Bye.